Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use 3D Touch on the iPhone 6S and iPhone 6S Plus. I'm going to focus on messages, but pretty much all these actions that I use are accessible throughout a lot of Apple's apps, and you can practice just by pushing harder on the screen. So what I want to do is push in on messages. And when I do that, I'm not doing a long press, I'm actually putting more pressure on the screen and it's going to open up this contextual menu. And so I can send a new message or I can jump straight to a conversation. Now, if I'm in messages, I can do the same kind of action. So I'm going to push in on this conversation and I'm peeking. So I see this last little bit of this conversation. I push in, it's going to bump me right into that message. You can also do that in mail. Now you can do this with a photo. So I'm peeking and then I can pop. And since this is a live photo, I can actually 3D touch it and add the motion to it. Now I can also do the same thing with a link. So I'm gonna peek and look at this and then I can pop into the browser and see this article and interact with it. Now if I do a 3D touch at the edge, Put a little pressure and slide over, I can access my multitasking menu. If I'm down here, I can push in and I can move the cursor around. And you can also use this, although sometimes it can be tricky to do, to select text. So once you get to the place you want, you can drag and select the text that you want. So that's a real basic overview of how to use 3D Touch. Now you can test this out, it works in other apps. Just go to your home screen or inside apps and push and you'll see. Now if an app doesn't support it, it's just gonna do a quick vibrate and the screen will blur and unblur. Some third party apps support it. One thing that you might have trouble doing on the iPhone 6S is a long press. And so that's because a lot of people will actually push harder on their screen when they're doing a long press. So don't do that, just keep your finger there and you'll activate that long press. And you'll see here, now I can rearrange my home screen. So that's all there is to using 3D Touch on the iPhone 6S and iPhone 6S Plus. Check out a link in the description for more information. Thanks for watching.